very simple web application here that lets us scrape a website and then ask questions about the content on the website. All you got to do is provide a URL here and behind the scenes I'm using Langchain to grab the uh, content from the website and you know scrape it and fix it and clean it up and all that good stuff and then we can what I've done is I've built a conversational chatbot that we can ask questions about the content on the website. Now you know there's many reasons to do this. One of the reasons is because you know you in chat GPT the most recent uh, GPT-4 update was through January 25th of uh, 2024. So there's knowledge it's still not going to have, right? So I've already done this. I asked a question about, tell me more about Link Smith uh, from Langchain. You know, was it says I'm not aware. Uh, who won Super Bowl 58? Um, says that, you know, admits the knowledge goes up to January 2022. So, you know, there are plenty of reasons why that application that I've built here uh, can be helpful. Especially when um, you know it's a website that has a whole lot of content, and uh, you know I don't feel like going through all of it, but I kind of have you know, have a notion for what I want to learn about what's on the website. Uh, conversational chatbot you know, is a good solution. So let's see it in action. Uh, I actually have um, here's one of Len uh, Len Chain's um, blog. So this is actually really, this application is good for like uh, scraping blogs and instead of having to read seven minutes worth of it, you, know, you can just ask a few things about the blog and uh, you kind of get the gist, but plenty of use cases. So here's something they uh, talked about on January 31st, 2024. So ChatGPT was only, only used data through January 25th, 25th, so it would not have this. So we're gonna, let's use this website or the URL. Let me bring it over to the application. Paste it in, hit enter, and the conversational chatbot comes on, says, how may I help you? And we'll just put this open, I'm just demonstrating you know, how this works. Not really trying to figure out what questions to ask here. You know, so, yeah, you know, that's basically what it is. So that's a, that's a gist of what's on there. And then similarly, I, I guess we can, um, I have actually a website open here. So, um, no, hey, there's Super Bowl 58. Let me do this. Um, so I'm going to bring this, or let's just ask it. Hopefully it gets it right. So I'm going to clear the conversation, plug in the new URL, hit enter, and we'll go grab the content. And uh, basically it takes the content and, and puts it into a vector store. Uh, basically embeddings and so really this conversational chatbots are leveraging the vector store to take your question uh, and then find uh, well, you know what what's the content that you know comes closest to or matches uh, the question and then you know sort of uses the power of the large language models to then stitch the answer together so let's ask what was the final score of super super bowl 58. I, I I don't know, so whatever it says, I'm gonna go with it. All right, so that, that was the score. Hopefully that's correct. All right, we'll try, let's try one more thing. Uh, wanna keep this video short. And uh, I believe I had, uh, let's do this. I thought I had something, but we'll just go real time here. Um, uh, let's do this, Bank of America Elon. And all right, let's see. Um, where's the URL? All right, let's see if this works or not. Because it's picking up all kind of UTM latest stuff. Uh, but it's a good test. We'll find out. We. This is Edward stuff like related. Let's see if this works. I don't know if this is a this is gonna work or not. Um uh, the require plans for a helon.
Okay, it looks uh, directionally correct enough. All right, so you get the gist, guys. I uh, built this web application that um, will go scrape a website once you provide the URL, and then it uses uh, LangChain uh, to create a vector store. It basically chunks up the content of the website um, and it creates embeddings for those chunks, takes your question, uh, that, um, and then uh, converts that into an embedding and finds the nearest uh, matching possible answer. And the large language model will then take those possible answers and you know, stitch it together and come back with an answer like this. Hey guys, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you um, find uh, this sort of instructional videos and uh, educational videos helpful. And I'm also, as always, going to give you a link to the code that created this uh, web application. Again, uh, heavily using LangChain uh, for a lot, most of what I did here. So, you know, if you guys are not from, familiar with LangChain, definitely uh, check it out. They, they have a lot to offer. They have really good ways for you to leverage large language model, models using LangChain. And uh, there you go. This is the web application that the code created. And I'm going to leave a link in the description below to my code. Once again, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Until next time.